Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Lord my God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles in Psalm 1. War is a so Pentecostal. On a potpoto I leal our apostolo, Ilia Fiafe Tassi. On a faf was set ya leal, on lato falongo, Iliangi my osim tangi manosi, my langi. What tum while fale uma, salato no foi. On a fali my leya take lato. O se mea pese e o lau lau fai wafi. O vai se ina i lato nei. Ma faa e i lunga o ulu o i lato tai tu atasi. O faa tumui na fo i lato uma i lea ngang pa ia. Ma ua mata ona tau tala i ngana ese. E peyon fo a ina atu e lea nganga. Ya te i lato le mea lofa o li tau tala. Sa Jerusalem tangata mi o tua, sa nofo mainu u malava, i lalo o le langi. Ona faabut poto ai leo i lato u ma i lea leo. O tae tasi, ma lea mau tonu, i faa ngoa tu i nei tangata. O tae tala, i lana lava ngana. Sa lato wofo, ma ofo, 
wala tu fai mai o tsangata kan lai ya umai ya olo tsau tsala mai e fa pe fe on tsau tsau fa longo tsai tsau tsasi ila tsau ila na lavang ngana o pa tsia o me tsai ma elama o tsangata mai me sop tsamia ma yu tsai ya ma kapato kia ma pono ma asia ma feru kia ma pafulia ma aikupitu ma vayanga olipia e si o mi aiku rene fa pe fo in tsangata asia si mai roma o tsangata yu tsai ya a to ma eli lotu o tsangata kireta ma arapi ma to tsfa alongo o la to tsa la imai Ila ma to lava ngana, e winga i meo fofungia ale tua. The word of the Lord. Lord, send your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are. How many are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your riches. You take back your spirit. They die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit. They are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find joy in the Lord. The second reading, a reading from the letter of São Paulo of the Romans. As pessoas que estão interessadas apenas em coisas não espirituais nunca podem agradar a Deus. Seus interesses, no entanto, não estão e não espiritual, mas no espiritual, uma vez que o Espírito de Deus fez sua morada em você. De fato, a menos que você possuísse o Espírito de Cristo, você não pertenceria a Ele. Embora seu corpo possa estar morto, é por causa do pecado. Mas, se Cristo está em você, se o Espírito é própria vida, porque você foi justificado, e se o Espírito daquele que ressuscitou Jesus dentre os mortos vive em vocês, então... Aquele que ressuscitou Jesus dentre os mortos vivificará seus próprios corpos mortais por meio do seu Espírito que vive em vocês. Então, meus irmãos, não há necessidade de obedecermos ao nosso e eu não espiritual, ao viver vidas não espirituais. Se você vive dessa maneira, está condenado a morrer, mas se pelo Espírito você acabar com as más ações do corpo, você viverá. Tudo aquele que é movido pelo Espírito é filho de Deus. O Espírito que você recebeu não é o Espírito de escravos, trazendo medo para suas vidas novamente. É o Espírito dos filhos e nos faz clamar, Abba, Pai. O próprio Espírito e o nosso espírito dá um testemunho unidos de que somos filhos de Deus. E se somos filhos também, somos herdeiros, herdeiros de Deus e cordeiros em Cristo, compartilhando seus sofrimentos para compartilhar a glória. Palavra do Senhor.
Graças a Deus. you a reading from the holy gospel according to john jesus said to his disciples if you love me you will keep my commandments i shall ask the father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever if anyone's love me he will keep my words and my father will love him, and we shall come to him and make our home with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, and my word is not my own. It is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you while he is still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. So my dear friends, we give thanks to God as we celebrate this, this great feast of our church, the Feast of Pentecost. Today also is a Mission Sunday where we share the little resources we have with the Mission Church. Today we give thanks to God as this is also the first, the first Sunday of this month of June. You have heard our readings being proclaimed by different languages. First language from the Samoans. And the, the second reading from this, read by one of our sisters from East Timor. Why all these languages just reflect that we are a mission church? We come from different nations, but we all brothers and sisters, name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to God as I celebrate Mass with Father Aurelio. He was born here, but his parents came from Italy. And last week, Jesus departed this world. We celebrated the Feast of the Ascension. And the was said sad because Jesus is leaving them. But Jesus told them, at least I go, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, will not come to you. At least I go, your mission will be just in a limited area. But I have to go to send you the Holy Spirit and you will be my disciples and witnesses, not just here in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and throughout the world. 
We know sometimes it's sad when somebody leaves us. But when they leave us for our own benefit, it is always a great rewarding. And all of us, we have different stories to share. When we left our countries to come into this land, it was not our intention, it was not our will that we have to leave our countries to come into this country where we will come and celebrate a mass in the parish of St. Mary's where we have over 50 different languages. It is because of the conditions of our own countries. It is because of the will of God that yes, I want you to send you to a different country where you can share the love of God and also experience the oneness of the church because we are all one church. All of us, we have different stories. And it is because of the mission of the church to this land first. We all know the gospel was brought here by missionaries from Ireland, the Irish missionaries that came here. There was not Christianity here before. And also similar to us in our own countries, we also, because of the missionaries that went to our own lands, this is why we are here. They fast the pace to us. I come from South Sudan, where the missionaries of Kombone missionaries and other missionaries went to my own country, Sudan, before we became an independent nation of South Sudan. And this Daniel Kombone was born in Italy. He was the only survivor after eight, eight, eight children. So there were eight, and he was the only one that left. And he decided to give his life to God. If you have some time later on, just look at the back of our church. His picture is there. When he went, he said to his mother, to his parents, that I want to give my life to God and go to Africa for a mission. They were sad. Because their only child is going to be a missionary in a foreign land. But they receive a blessing from him. They told him, Daniel, go and may the Lord bless you. He went and he was appointed the first bishop of Sudan. He went back and he was preaching against human trafficking. You know, slavery was one of the things that exercised in Africa. But Komboni went and preached about that all of us were equals in the eyes of God. He went back and one of his motto is South Africa by Africans. What does that mean? It means that you have to go and preach and go and collect all the slave children, girls and boys who were taken to, uh, to Europe by slavery, put them into a seminary, being ordained, and send them back to be the missionaries. He opened the eyes of people in Europe that all of us, we are equals in the eyes of God. doesn't matter wherever your color is, we are all sons and daughters of God. And this is why St. Josephine Bakita was rescued from his slavery. And here today, her relic is here in our altar. First class relic directly from her body. Why? All of us, we have never, never come to our mind that one day we will come into this church. And this is because we experience many 
hardships in our own lands. All of us, we have different stories to share. But there is a great message here from St. Paul, his letter to the Romans. Romans chapter 8, verses 28. He says this, We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. All things work for us. We are persecuted in our country so that we can come here and praise the name of the Lord so that Christianity should continue in this land. You know, we used to have exilary bishop here in, in the High Diocese of Melbourne. Bishop Benson Long. He came here by boat. He came from Vietnam. He was chased away from his country. And now he's the Bishop of Parramatta. All of us, we have different stories. Look at this, if Paul is saying that all things work for good for those who love God. If you have been treated badly in your own land, in your own country, God has a different purpose to bring you into this country where we will call ourselves brothers and sisters. I came here with nothing. Eighteen years ago, I came as a refugee. I came here, most of you, you might not know that I'm a married deacon. I came with my wife, three kids, with our suitcases. I've never thought that one day I will come and preach to the people of God, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is because of the work of the Holy Spirit that we are celebrating today. It is not the thing that happened 2,000 years ago is still working in us. It's the same spirit that has you today to leave your home and come into this church and listen to God's holy words. So today, we know without our help, the mission of the church will never go, will go nowhere. And this is why every year the church, we share the little resources we have so that the mission of the church will continue. So that those who don't have churches in the poor lands will, will, will have their churches through us. And God blesses the cheerful giver. This is what the Bible told us. You don't have to be ordained minister to come and preach. This is what Jesus said today to his disciples that you will be my witnesses and we are witnesses through our deeds. So as we celebrate this Mission Sunday and, and Pentecost Sunday, it is through our collective responsibility that the mission of the church will continue. Why we are doing this? Because Jesus in Matthew 25 will give the judgment when we will judge at the end of our time. And Jesus will say, yes, I was, I was in need of the mission and you were able to help me. My priest in the different countries was suffering because they don't have any resources. But because of the little that you share, this is why the mission of my church is going through. So we pray that uh, through the Holy Spirit, that all of us were witnesses. You are witness to Jesus. I am witness to Jesus and all of us, we share the same mission. That the name of Jesus might continue. That those who are persecuted because they are brothers, they are our brothers, they will know that we are standing beside them. And may the Holy Spirit continue to guide us, to help us, so that we can be a one church, sharing one love. We can speak different languages, but we are invited to have a language of love.
language of cooperation. This is the only way that the name of Jesus will continue and his missions will continue in the world. Please remain seated. Could I ask Alexander to stand? I have some questions for you. That's all right. Don't be too worried. The answer is I do. Do you reject Satan and all his empty promises and all his works? Do you believe in God the Father, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Dear Alexander, by your baptism you have been born again in Christ and you have become a member of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit amongst us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive and make you more like Christ and help you to be witness to his suffering, death and resurrection. You will be strengthened to be an active member of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. My dear friends, let us pray to God the Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on Alexander for confirmation to strengthen him with his gifts and anoint him to be more like Christ, the Son of God. O powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be there upon him to be his helper and guide. Give him the strength and the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill him with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask you this through Christ our Lord.
Let us pray that the Holy Spirit may descend on us in our church and on our world. On this great feast of Pentecost, our prayers of the faithful are being offered up in different languages. The first in Sinhalese, which is the national language of Sri Lanka. Francis Papahanse Sahasialuma Palli Naikin Sandaha. Shuddhat Meanan Vahanse Onge Margo Padesha Kayavana Atara. Onta Ekamutu Kame Saha Pragnya Vetiaga Ashivada Karana Penisa. Swamini Apata Savandena. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. The second is in Malayalam, which is the language spoken in the South Indian state of Kerala. Namade Rajemaya Australia Ikivendi. Namade Nedakal Parishudan Mavileka Avarude Hirudayam Turakate. Opam Nyangalde Ella Pavaran Markum Pratyashayum Aikavum Levikinadina our Niamandramanangal. Narthate Kartave, Yangal de Prasana, Kelkaname. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. This prayer is in French. Pour toutes les familles, puissent-ils utiliser les dons du jugement et de la compréhension pour faire face à leur vie quotidienne? Lord, hear us. This prayer is in Polish. Módlmy się za misjonarzy, którzy niosą przesłanie Ewangelii tym, którzy tęsknią za dobrą nowinę o zbawieniu, aby inni usłyszeli wezwanie do przyłączenia się do nich. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. For those who died recently, and for those whose anniversaries occur at this time, may they inherit the promise of eternal life won for them by Jesus' resurrection. Lord, hear us. For our parish of St. Mary's, may the Holy Spirit motivate us to bear witness to our faith and to respond to all those we meet in a Christian way. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Per la parrocchia di Santa Maria, lo Spirito Santo ci stimoli a testimoniare la nostra fede e a rispondere in modo cristiano a tutti coloro che incontriamo. Signore, ascoltaci. We pray to Our Lady who was present on that day of Pentecost that we too may be filled with the Holy Spirit and be able to witness as Our Lady did. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God of power and love, through your Spirit, you have enlightened our prayers. Accept them through Jesus, your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Thank you. 
and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May God accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, the Lord has wanted Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
you therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servant, Margaret, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of Pentecost, on which the Holy Spirit appeared to the apostles in tongues of fire and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service that of your whole family order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. Once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Thank you. 
Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with the serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar and high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, Paddy, Ralph, Nicole, Odette, Violet, Dominique, Lilette, Maggie, Marie, France, Headley, and all who have gone before us at the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. For us also your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Thank you. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Say the word in my soul shall. Thank you. 
second collection for the promulgation of the faith.
So I'd like to call Alexander to come forward as we just acknowledge this wonderful step that you've made today. Perhaps just turn around so people can congratulate you as you receive two certificates uh, for your First Holy Communion and for your confirmation. So those certificates are coming. So I think you get two claps. So you get your clap for your First Holy Communion. And for your confirmation. It's wonderful to have Alexander here today because he missed out being confirmed uh, two weeks ago by the bishop and it was very upsetting for him and the family. But what a wonderful gift you've given us because the other 21 kids were confirmed and most of the community didn't see the confirmation. And so it's wonderful that you've been confirmed here with us today. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you to Deacon George. Hopefully we can hear from you again very soon. It was wonderful um, to hear your preaching and your experience. And I very much resonate with my parents who left their country. They didn't want to um, because of poverty back in 1954 and 1960. So, um, And I'm sure most of you resonate with Deacon George's story. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who has pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in the same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy birthday to each one of us. Make sure you have a cake or something. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> 